November 20, 1985, Microsoft releases the first version of Windows, and 40 years later, that moment still shapes every PC we use today. This is the evolution of Windows OS. Built as a layer on top of MS-DOS, Windows 1.0 introduced something revolutionary for the time. On-screen windows, menus, scroll bars, and icons. The package arrived on two floppy disks and demanded 256 kilobytes of memory plus a graphics card. For 1985, these were substantial requirements. MS-DOS had been entirely command line, with every task typed manually. Windows 1.0 made experience more visual and easier to navigate thanks to MS-DOS executive, notepad, paintbrush, calculator, calendar, and even a small game. Critics weren't fully convinced at launch, performance was limited, and the idea of using a mouse felt unfamiliar to many. But Windows 1.0 laid the foundation for everything that followed, the beginning of a graphical era that would soon take over the PC world. Windows 2.0 brought an essential change. Windows could finally overlap and be resized. It introduced shortcuts, small visual improvements, and better memory control. During this period, Windows versions of Microsoft Word and Excel started gaining popularity thanks to the platform, making it increasingly widespread. Windows 2.0 also marks the beginning of the historic conflict with Apple, which accused Microsoft of copying elements from the Macintosh interface. Microsoft won the lawsuit, as the court ruled that elements like Windows and menus were functional ideas, not copyrighted creations, and Apple had already granted a license in 1985 for some of those visual elements. Want more videos like this? Then hit the new hype button and help us grow this community. It's free, and it helps us a lot. Thank you. Windows 3.0 transformed Windows into a massive success. It introduced a more colorful interface, modern icons, and much better performance. This is also where the Solitaire game appears, something truly important. Comment below if you used to play it. Two years later, Windows 3.1 introduced true type fonts, drag and drop for icons, and support for compound documents through OLE. This became the first version widely adopted by companies, laying the foundation for Microsoft's dominance in the PC market. Windows 3.1 was one of the first Windows versions also available on CD-ROM, in certain regional and OEM editions, marking the beginning of the transition to this format. Microsoft was also working in parallel on a completely different platform, far more stable and aimed at the professional world. That's how the Windows NT family appeared, built from the ground up as a 32-bit system designed for companies, servers, and network infrastructure. Windows NT 3.1 introduced advanced features for its time, user manager, administration tools, modern networking, and performance monitor. The NT 3.5 version improved speed, which is why the project was internally called Daytona. Windows NT 3.51 was the first Windows version available on the PowerPC architecture and introduced better compatibility with Windows 95 networks and applications, becoming an extremely stable and well-regarded release in professional environments. It's the big day for computer buffs, the launch of Windows 95. Thousands of enthusiasts have been mobbing retail counters to snap up the package. The launch of Windows 95 was a historic moment, backed by massive media campaigns. It was the first 32-bit Windows version for the consumer market and marked the birth of the modern Windows ecosystem. It introduced fundamental elements we still use today, the start menu, the taskbar, Windows Explorer, and plug-and-play support, even though it didn't work perfectly at first. Windows 95 also marks the period when Microsoft introduced Internet Explorer, although it was not installed by default. Windows NT 4.0 combined the robustness and stability of the NT architecture with the familiar Windows 95 interface, becoming extremely popular in companies thanks to its reliability and strong performance. Windows 98 built on the Windows 95 formula, adding much better support for USB, FAT32, DVD disks, and graphics acceleration through DirectX. It introduced the back and forward navigation buttons, the address bar in Windows Explorer, dual monitor support, and full integration of Internet Explorer. Windows 98 Second Edition was preferred by gamers thanks to its improved stability, excellent support for new graphics cards, and compatibility with both older games and modern 3D titles. At the time, it was practically the most compatible and fastest version for gaming. Windows 2000 was designed for the business environment and introduced essential features such as Active Directory, a modernized NTFS file system, much improved plug and play, and a solid technical foundation that would later become the base for Windows XP. Although created primarily for companies, it was so stable that many advanced users ran it at home as well. 
Windows 2000 was released in four editions, Professional, Server, Advanced Server, and Data Center Server. Windows ME or Millennium Edition is considered the most unstable version of Windows in history. Still based on the MS-DOS architecture, the system tried to introduce modern features like System Restore and the first version of Windows Movie Maker, but it suffered from frequent crashes and serious compatibility issues. For this reason, it was nicknamed the Mistake Edition. Windows XP is one of the most popular and long-lasting Windows versions ever released. It unified for the first time the stability of the professional Windows NT line with the user-friendly interface of Windows 95 and 98. It launched in two main editions, Home and Professional, and introduced the Luna theme, a modern start menu, and a much more intuitive experience for users. It included new features such as built-in CD burning and remote desktop. However, Windows XP had a major security issue. The built-in firewall was disabled by default, and the system's massive popularity turned it into a perfect target for hackers, who mostly exploited vulnerabilities in Internet Explorer. The situation became so severe that Bill Gates launched the Trustworthy Computing Initiative, and through the service pack updates, XP received improvements that significantly strengthened its security. Known for its difficult launch, Windows Vista introduced fundamental changes. The transparent aero glass interface, a new graphics engine, Windows Search, Windows Defender, Windows DVD Maker, and modern features like speech recognition. The problem? It consumed a lot of system resources and delivered poor performance, which attracted heavy criticism. Vista was also criticized for numerous errors and for its aggressive user account control system, which constantly asked for approvals, a consequence of the trustworthy computing initiative. In practice, users ended up clicking yes automatically, defeating its purpose. Windows 7 is considered one of the most successful operating systems Microsoft has ever created. It refined all the features introduced by Vista, bringing an elegant design, high performance, excellent stability, and a modern interface. It introduced popular features like Pin to Taskbar and Arrow Snap, which automatically resized windows. It also improved handwriting recognition and introduced Arrow Peak, which makes windows transparent when you place the cursor in the lower right corner. Windows 7 became the industry standard for many years, and without a doubt, somewhere in the world, it's still running on a few million PCs. Windows 8 was a major experiment built around the Metro interface, aiming to unify PCs and tablets. It replaced the Start button with a Start screen full of interactive tiles, which sparked huge controversy. Even though the internal engine was fast and modern, the radical interface changes made it difficult to use on traditional desktop PCs. Still, Windows 8 introduced important features. Microsoft Account Sign-In, USB 3.0 support, Xbox Live integration, and a smartphone-style lock screen. One year later, Windows 8.1 was released as a free upgrade to fix the issues of version 8. As a result, the new version brought back a Start button on the taskbar. Windows 10 unified Microsoft's vision into a fast, stable, and continuously updated system, the Windows as a Service concept. It reintroduced the Start menu in a hybrid form, integrated Cortana, Microsoft Edge, and a much more aggressive update system than previous versions. Windows 10 became the standard version on hundreds of millions of PCs and received major updates for almost a decade. Windows 11 is the most modern version with a fully refreshed design inspired by fluent UI rounded corners, a centered taskbar, and a minimalist start menu. It brought improvements to task view and virtual desktop, introduced new widgets and snap layouts, a feature that helps you quickly organize windows on the screen using visual templates. It introduced support for Android apps, advanced gaming technologies such as direct storage, and high hardware requirements for improved security. It is oriented toward performance, protection, and deep integration with the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. Which Windows version is your favorite? Comment below. I'm curious. If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you give us a like and leave a comment, it really helps us out. Thank you.